Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the mega awesome far dot dot changing tides. This was developed by Okomotive, published by Frontier Foundry and it's usually available for £14.99 slash $19.99 but is included in Xbox Game Pass so as the saying goes, get Game Pass, get good games. So, if you played the first Far game, Lone Sails, you realise that this is just an epic extension on that. Set in more watery-based environment, I mean, we have to steer a ship, so duh, it's obvious. Um, but it's more stormy skies and high seas, rather than sun-scorched dusty plains. Also, our new character's name is Toe, which I find just hilarious. Thank God his first name wasn't Camel, eh? <laughs> so, as for achievements, there are uh, quite a few story-related ones, few easy miscellaneous ones, which we will get during and after the game. Which, um, I say, uh, there, there are enough because there are two basically major pains in our assets. First off, there's a speedrun achievement for beating the game in less than three and a half hours. Now, this can easily be done in playthrough one, even with a bit of messing about. But if it stresses you out too much, you can do it on a second playthrough without having to collect all the crap. So that'll be way easier. The other one is, when we are on our ship, there's a certain point in the game where we cannot hit any rocks at all. Now, that'll make, uh, that will more than likely take you a few tries as it can be quite tight. Otherwise, this is a fun game, enjoyable, and I hope you enjoy it, as well as the guide. And I appear to be the only one with commentary, <laughs> doeth. Uh, anyway, we are looking at roughly around five to six hours to get this done, maybe a little bit less than that. So, with that being said, let us begin. And what we'll do, we end up in the swimming pool. Old uh, Mr. Cameltoe right here. <laughs> I'll just call him Seatoe for now. So, we are going to swim with, obviously, the left stick to move. Now, this is more of a little tutorial that's going to be cracking on with. So, we're going to head all the way underwater. Again, don't worry about... Um, you, can't, you, you, you can breathe forever underwater, uh, incredibly. The A button to jump. And eventually, it'll tell us that if you hold the A button, you can jump a tiny little bit further, which it, it all comes in handy. So, uh, take a little jump up then. So for the first sort of six, seven, eight minutes or so, we are just going to be doing this tutorial. There it is. So hold the A button to jump a little bit more. Um, obviously, because obviously we're going to be doing a lot of swimming underwater. We're also going to be doing a lot of steering with our ship, etc. Um, so, well, let's crack on. So obviously press up on the left stick to climb up and take a massive jump for it. Lovely. So yes, I did have a look at a few guides, and nothing had commentary on it, so I thought I would uh, help out and be the only one, and hopefully it actually helps out, because there is quite a lot to do. Uh, so we're just going to cli uh, swim under here, and now we're going to swim up into this little house. Take a jump, press the... Uh, what you're going to do is jump up, climb up the stairs all the way to the top, jump over to the other side. You need to press the X button to interact with and hold on to things. Um, you don't actually have to hold the X button, you can just hit it once, hit the button at the top there, and then push the box back to the right. So you're dragging the box to the left, hitting the button, pushing it back to the right to open the window. But yeah, so you press the X button once to interact with stuff, and then press the X button again to stop interacting with stuff. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's pr pretty much as easy as that one gets. So swimming under, and then swimming over to the next point of life. And we are going to uh, open up this door here again, press the X button, and then hold the left, climb up the left set of stairs, and then climb up the ladder. Great music in the game as well, fantastic music. Hopefully they don't copyright me, by the way. Now, we need to bring this plant with us. Very important for a few achievements later. So press the X button again, of course, to pick it up, and we can just let it go. Press the X button in the water to let it go, that's fine. So what we're going to do, drag this box sort of over to the right-hand side. Now, there's a hook on the right-hand side, so you need to... Jump and then press the X button to grab onto it. And then go underwater and then press the X button again when you're near the hook on the left. And that'll open up the way. Remember to grab the plant as well. Like I said, this is very important for a few achievements later on. So make sure to grab that plant, boy. So heading over to the right. And, and again, incredibly big uh, j toe jam and earl right here. He can carry, swim, he can do all types of stuff. He is the modern day... Someone who's good at swimming and carrying things. I don't know who that is, but anyway. So, take a nice little swim. Keep on swimming. I suppose he could be uh, Dory or Finding Nemo. Yeah. Right. And uh, Now, the game say auto-saves quite often, which you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner. It looks like a little sun. That's when you know the game has auto-saved. So, it does save regular and often. Right. Head up inside this little pipe thing right here. 
and drop down. Now what you're going to do, you can just drop the plant on the floor there, that's fine. And then what you're going to do is press the X button there and push the lever all the way over to the left. And then you'll have to press the X button again to let go. So, and then grab the, the hose pipe, or the hoover pipe, or the pipe hose, or the who's and choosing. And just suck up all the water. Look at that lovely stuff. Press the X button to let go. That'll automatically go back. Press the button at the top. Make sure to grab your plant. You can pop it down here and go underneath this wooden thing, which of course is what you'd normally do if you go and explore and you see something that could potentially crush you. Of course you'd go under it. Why the hell wouldn't you? Right, so basically now what this does is when we're underwater, we can press the A button to give us a little boost. So that's nice. So it just makes us go a bit faster, which is all tidy. Right, grab the pant again. Now, when we climb at the top here, uh, so some water's going to flood down. I'm going to be like, oh, no, we're being drowned. That's fine. So what we can do is just head back to the left and climb up. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the only way that the door opens up. If you, if you go to the right and go up the way you came earlier, this next door doesn't open. So you have to climb up the same ladder that I just did there. So when we get here then, apparently it'll go, Oh look, it's a little boy, please come in. You're obviously on an adventure. And open the way, and there we go. And holy moly, that is one big ma 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 ma, -ma ship. So, head down. And then what you're going to do is, there's a little box just underneath the water here. So make sure to pull the box out, and it acts as a little platform, but we are going to need to drag it ever so slightly to the left. I'll just try that one again, shall I? So press the X button on it, and then... So sometimes you think you've grabbed onto something, and you actually haven't, which is always funny when you're trying to rush and stress. <gasps> Climb up the ladder anyway, and this is our ship. Now, the ship is... I mean, it's just great. So we've got the plant with the ship. Of course, I'll, we'll let you know about that. So we can just drop it there, stow that away. What we're going to do is climb all the way up to the top. We're going to push this button on the right-hand side. And now a couple of achievements will unlock. So I basically unlocked the first three, I believe. So that's why you won't see them unlock for me on screen yet. But we will get the cast off and the So It Begins achievement in roughly around a minute. So, tutorials then. Let's uh, talk tutorials, are we? As the ship gets down. So you're going to need to push this blue button. Also, if you press the left trigger, you can zoom out and then move around the camera with the right stick. So push it all the way in, and that gets the mast up. So what you need to do is climb up the ladder. And again, you have to do this every single time. So you're going to have to climb up, grab the hook there with the X button, jump down and put it on the hook there, or whatever the hell it is. And that gets us going. And now, can you see... Uh, so again, you should have had the cast-off achievement, so it begins, we'll unlock as well. So can you see, right on the right-hand side of the mast is a flag. So if you... Now, with the lever in the middle that we are currently on, what you need to do is push it again, press the X button to interact with it. What you need to do is get that flag to the top, so, so there's like a, a different color at the top there. When you do that, as you can see, the other sail comes out. So now you can just actually leave it there. Um, and obviously sometimes, in you know, later on you'll have to move it around. But what can happen as well is that you can actually get, uh, your sails can actually get damaged from passing buildings and stuff. Now, because obviously it's a 2D environment, it can be hard to tell which ones uh, are going to damage it. So I will try and pop in every now and again just to tell you to pop your sails in. So again, obviously, if you're pushing the lever all the way to the right, that's putting the sails all the way out. If you drag it to the left, that puts the sails in. So uh, that's uh, going to come in handy quite a lot <laughs> later on. So again, this is just a tutorial. So as I said, as you can see with the flag, if you raise it all the... Again, because of wind direction, because of wind change and everything, um, you may have to move the lever sometimes, but that's if you do want to go a little bit faster. You need to put that flag near to the top to get both sails out and be on your merry little way. Uh, but that's basically the tutorial for that then. So it's not bad. Like I said, you know, when we're coming up... Again, when we're coming up to bridges and stuff like that, you will have to quickly take the hook out by pressing the X button twice to grab it and let go. And then you'll have to push the button all the way in to put the mast down as well. So sometimes it's all good, but then some th there can be times in this game where it can get a little rushy and stressy. But, um, you know, hopefully I'm going to be on hand to help you get it.
because I love helping you guys. Right, so what I would do now is actually bring the sail in. So bring the sail in all the way to the left-hand side before you get past these buildings. If they do get damaged, there is a few repair tools that we can grab on the way. And then all you got to do is pick up the repair tool and just go straight, uh, just, just interact with it. And then it will repair itself. Uh, but you, well, I say timed. It's not timed, but um, you only get a certain amount of tries to do that. Right, so with this one then, quickly release the hook. So press the X button twice and then push the button, blue button, all the way in. Now, for me, it doesn't seem to be working incredibly annoying. But what you're supposed to do is push the blue button all the way in. The mast will uh, go down. And then, obviously, it'll go down and you won't get damaged. But for whatever particular reason there, it didn't appear to work. Uh, which is just nice. Uh, but because this is a tutorial... Now, normally, you would just have to go and repair it. But uh, I think because it's a tutorial, it's going to let me get away with it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So that is how you do that then. So uh, you just... You literally just push it in to the right a little bit more. That is what gets the mass down. So, what we're going to do, climb up then. We are going to keep on sailing, sailing, sailing. So, grab the hook, pop it back down. And, obviously, again, just press the X button here to interact with it. And remember to put the flag all the way up to the top. Because that's what you're sort of focusing on if you want to get through this a little bit quicker. And, obviously, remember any big buildings. Now, normally, you're not going to hit anything unless they're big, sort of obvious-looking, massive buildings. Uh, so just keep uh, your eye out on that. But this is, the, this is the sort of premise of the game. We'll do quite a bit of sailing for about 10 minutes or so, and then we'll, do, uh, we'll come up to a building where we've got to do a puzzle or two, and then we'll do a lot more sailing, and we'll unlock some achievements on the way. So for now, just enjoy the scenery. Well, that loving the scenery was kind of short-lived, wasn't it? So don't worry if you crash into that. Your boat won't get damaged when you crash into stuff. Um, so we are going to pop the mast down eventually. It will work. Again, you don't have to press the X button. Like I said, you can just walk into it. So this is the first puzzle then that we're going to do. So climbing up. Again, if you want to uh, get through it a little bit quick, you can just press the A button. So uh, try and interact with this lever here. And as you can see, da -da, that schnells breaks. So grab this uh, pump truck or whatever it's called. Put it over to the right, and then what you're going to do is interact with the lever, but make sure that the wood on top is halfway. So we're going to cut the log in half, so see the saw at the top? So when you do that, you can push the button here on the left. That should pop the saw down. Yeah. Watch your head! Because the, the, only, the only good thing is, the only good wood in the morning is uh, not on your head. It's on your other head. Um, You know, the one at the top, of course. <laughs> so drag it to the left. And then we're going to jump up, jump up and get down. This is what the repair tool kit looks like. So you just um, stand by whatever's broken and that will fix it. But as you can see, because we've used it one time, uh, we get one light off. So that's unfortunate. So now push the pipe all the way to the right hand side. And that'll get the deliciousness of our Pirates of the Caribbean ship done. So now we can just jump straight down. Doesn't matter if you land in the water. Remember, we are infinite on health and everything. So what we can do is just climb all the way up. And obviously don't go ahead and put your mast up just yet because, uh, you know, it's not going to work. But of course, I'm fixing this one. Hopefully you didn't need to fix that. Uh, and then we can just drop down here and press the X button to drop it. This is like a little stowaway tingo scrat. So jump up and we'll just wait for a few hot seconds. And finally, we can put it up. Now, even if you try to put the mast up and it hits whatever it is on top, that, is, that can also get damaged. So this is kind of very realistic as we grab the hook so we can get the sails up. In terms of um, if you crash into something, it will damage it, even if you've done it by accident or whatever. So, you know, you, just, you do have to be careful with this one. So it's kind of like a management type game, especially with the, uh, with the ship sections. 
an adventure management type game, which is nice. Right, so for now then, again, this is just more bit of sailing. So again, just uh, put the flag all the way to the top so you can get both sails out and start flying. So we do have a few sort of buildings coming up, so I would highly advise just to pop your sail in for a little bit. You, you'll still obviously st uh, keep going forward, but uh, you know, just put uh, your camel toe... Um, sorry, 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 I did say I was going to stop that. Uh, but pop your sail in so obviously it doesn't get damaged. Just comes in handy, doesn't it? Not sailing in damaged stuff.
Right, so we need to be quite quick with this pub. What we're going to do is quickly grab the hook, take it off, and pull the mast down. As soon as you start seeing... Now, you can press the left trigger to zoom out and see where we're going to come up to. But as soon as you start seeing the sort of um, bridge on the right-hand side coming up, there it is. So grab the hook, pull it down, and then immediately go and pull the mast down. It's the closer we get, the better, really. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's fine. So we do that, and it'll start just chilling out. So we're actually going for the engine module now, which, of course, we are going to use on the ship. That's going to be the point of it. We're going to upgrade our ship with more stuff, but th that will give us more stuff to do. So what we can do, jump down. You can press the A button when you're underwater, and it'll go, Wee! Glow under and go, uh, push this box here over to the right hand side Slowly but surely does it we're not in a rush or anything What we're gonna do jump up head down and then we can just come out of the water and Then head up and to the left. So this is the sort of engine module What you're gonna do so you pick up scrap metal with the X button of course put press the X button to put it in And then what you've got is like a fire there on the left hand side just just keep jumping on the pad and then you've got the scrap metal, which of course looks like garbage to the right of it. So jump up here, and of course this is going to be a primary um, ship feature throughout the rest of the game. So uh, again, when we interact with these, when we when these things appear, it may take a little time to get used to, but it does get easier. So what you're going to do then is grab these bits of scrap metal. So anything that looks like this, even if it looks like um, you know just anything, anything that looks boxy and scrap metally. You can put all of them on the hooks, and then just press this button here three times. You will get this. We need quite a bit of scrap metal for fuel in order to get the ship to go forward in the game. So grab all those three, of course. Grab the um, f fuel can, if you want to call it that. And then what we're going to do is drop down here, press the X button to put it in, the scrap metal in, the sort of um, garbage compartment or whatever, scrap metal compartment. And then what you're going to do, pull the lever to the right, and then start using the fire. And then eventually the fire will go. Now, as you can see, just above the fire is a little, um, it's like a little somethingometer. So obviously, the higher it gets, the bigger the flame. Um, but in a ship, that will overheat. Again, we'll uh, talk about more uh, on that in a little bit. So what we're going to do then is we're going to just grab all the scrap metal here. All the, the I'll just call it scrap. I'm not going to call it scrap metal every time. Uh, so we'll just grab all the scrap that we can, just drag them down, and we're going to get onto this little trainy containy. McWayney bit, Bruce Wayney, McFlaney. So what I'm going to do, grab the scrap metal, or the scrap, just pop it in like this little cubby hole, tiny little section, and that one as well, the bit of fuel, whatever. Um, you can press the button, that doesn't actually do anything, not just yet, anyway. So go ahead, grab the, in fact, what we're going to do is actually start heading to the left now. So interact with the lever, go to the left, and again, just keep the fire going. Now, I highly advise to just keep it sort of in the middle. If you put it all the way to the right and the flame gets bigger, that means the scrap will go down quicker, so the fuel will burn a lot quicker. So again, uh, a little bit more on that in just a bit, but I do highly advise just keeping the um, line sort of in the middle or just, just to the right of the middle, so, it won't, uh, so the fuel won't burn quicker. Uh, which, of course, is the mistake I'm making right now. Um, if it does run out, so basically we now need this train to get all the way to the left. If the scrap goes off and the flame dies out and you're nowhere near, just put, uh, it's okay to put another, just put another scrap in, a bit of scrap metal. Um, although if you can try and avoid that, it's better to avoid it because obviously we need more for the ship. So obviously mine's gone out. Um, and what we need to do is just let it go all the way to the left, which it's almost there anyway. But like I said, for a lot of time through the game, we're going to not be going all the way over to the right. We're going to sort of keep it in the middle and see what I mean more. But there are two more pieces of scrappy scrap. I sound like one of those uh, scrap metal guys from Britain. Oh, microwaves for sale. Oh, give me all your microwaves now. And if you're from Britain, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if they have scrappies in America. They go around in a big van going, Oh, any old iron, any old microwaves and cookers. Apparently, they're all Welsh as well. Really Welsh. So, um, obviously, just put all the scrap. That's where we're going to put it in that little cubby hole section. Now, we can press the button. And then what that's going to do is get the engine module down. And that's going to go, ta-da. And there we go then. 
Oh, by the way, you should have got the fireman achievement earlier on um, for using the uh, fire thing for the first time. So grab all the scrap metal that you can down to so make sure that the scrap is all the way down and then we can just drop down the hole, make sure it's all good. And we are on top of our ship. Push the button in and that is going to be the engine modulation. Or oh, actually it's going to be called the hardcore achievement. So this is what we're going to do now, literally for the rest of the game. So again, it may take a little, a tiny little bit of time to get used to, um, but it will be, you know, it, obviously once you get used to it, it'll be very, very easy. So you can use the fire and you can use the sail winds at the same time to go just a little bit quicker if you want. Now remember, right trigger to zoom in as well and left trigger to zoom out if you want. But what we're going to do is just put all the scrap in this little, um, just underneath in this little stowaway bit right here. So grab all the scrap you can and just pop it down. Sort of halfway, there's a door halfway down, of course. Don't worry if you fall into the water, you can just climb up the ladder because we are skillage in the old village bags. Uh, but just chuck all the scrap that you've got and just put it all underneath for a second. So then, once you've got the last piece of old scrappy bags in, what we're going to do then? So, as you can see, there are four hooks right here. Now, we need to put, uh, you need to basically keep this topped up as much as you can uh, with all scrap on it. So grab that, put it in the uh, sort of containment or whatever you want to call it. Go up, th these are the gears, so you need to push this all the way to the right, that's to go fastest. And then what you're obviously going to do is keep jumping on the pad to get the fire going. Now, as you can see... There are three lines, so you've got on the left is one, in the middle is two, in on the right is three. Now I highly advise against going all the way to the right. That's going to burn through your fuel quicker. Like I said, that's going to burn through your fuel quicker. And obviously that gets a bit hairy later on. And to be honest, it doesn't even go that much quicker than if you just sort of kept it in the middle. But what you do need to do is keep that topped up. Because obviously the uh, red line starts going down to the left. So you just, again, don't worry about that for now. Uh, this is the water hose, though. So the lever on the left, if you turn it all the way to the right, that'll put the hose on. And the engine is, the, the engine there is to the right. Um, so if you put the the fire, the, the red line fire, I keep bloody forgetting what it's called. But if you put that all the way to the right, as you can see now, the engine temperature to the right of that is just starting to rise. So to keep that cool, you need to douse that with water. and uh, You'll get the fire warden achievement anyway. Um, but like I said, what you need to do is keep, especially the four hooks on the right, topped up. Um, because there's a button at the top where you can just easily press it, and that gets one of these scraps straight into the garbage bin, and that will get the fire keeping going. So as you can see, because I haven't kept up um, pushing on the pad, that means that the fire has gone out and we're not going anywhere. So push the button to get some scrap in the old scrap heap, and now we can start pushing the buttons. So again, it can seem a bit overwhelming first, but honestly, you will get used to it very quickly. But again, I highly advise, do not go all the way over into the third one on the right-hand side. Again, you will burn through your fuel quicker, but that's what you have to keep on doing. Uh, so what we're going to do, we go... <laughs> in fact, we're not going down just yet, sorry. We're not going down just yet. We are still going... Um, again, but this is more, again, of a tutorial thing. So, uh, we've just grabbed the plant, actually. So, we're going to grab the plant. We're just leaving it up by the gears for now, just for the time being. And we will start doing stuff with that achievement later on. So, as you can see on the right, my engine temperature is going nuts right now. So, what you would do is grab the hose at the top and just press the X button there to hose it down. So, that keeps the engine nice and cool. Because, of course, what you don't want to do, as you can see, my engine temp got too hot. Fire burnt out, scrappy, scrappy went away. So, so hopefully that little bit of advice there will save you a little bit of fuel because, uh, well, it didn't for me, first of all, because I was being very, very silly. So again, keep it in the middle one, more towards the right-hand side, but keep it in the middle one and always keep a check on your engine temperature. And if you're going around doing stuff, obviously always remember to come back down 
um, and just keep having a look, making sure that the fire is still going. So this is the first buoy, B-U-O-Y. Now, there is an achievement for pushing past all six, okay? So you're automatically going to go past this one. As long as the fire's going and the ship's going, you will push past that one. So because the ship's going, uh, we have pushed past it. So that'll be the first one out of six. So what we're going to do, we, uh, we climb underneath and we start heading up past the ship. We basically crash anyway. So that one is pretty much unskippable. So if you want to zoom out just to make sure that you push past it, that one is fine. Uh, so what we need to do now is just head to the right and jump down. And then we need to grab open this thing on the left-hand side. We're going to push it, pull it open. So pull, boy, pull. Pull like you've never pulled before. Now what we're going to see then is a lot of scrap. There's a lot of scrap everywhere in water. And we need to basically grab as much as we can. So we need to get all four of those on the ship. Now, the achievement, by the way, for the O boy um, is basically you can either push past them or later on you can go underneath them in a submarine. Obviously, to get the achievement, we need to just push past them. So as long as you don't go underneath with your ship, then you should have no issues at all. But obviously, I'll let you know whichever ones there are. But to get, again, to get past them, just make sure that your ship's got fire in it. And um, it's about halfway. And then job done. So for now, just grab all the scrap and pop it in the stowaway tent here. So this is it then, for the next couple of minutes or so, like I said, this is what the game basically does, this is what the game is. We do lots of sailing stuff for a bit, and then we do a puzzle bit. So, hopefully, you've now got it sort of in mind of what to do. Remember to always, again, this is where the management start stuff starts coming into it, so just make sure that the fire, again, is sort of in the middle, the line right there. The fire is lit, that, you, you, that the scrap is constantly going, so if you're doing something else on the ship, just always go and have a quick look in the middle there, just to make sure that you've got enough scrap. If you don't, obviously just hit the button or put another piece of scrap in. And then obviously just keep... Now, if you are with the fire and you keep the line in the middle of the three, then the engine temperature will never rise up too much. It's The, the engine temperature only rises up too much when you put it all the way over to the right-hand side. So just keep that one in mind. Otherwise, just uh, it's basically about getting your affairs in order here. We're just putting everything on hooks, making sure that everything's squared away. But always keep checking your, um, again, your scrap and just making sure that the uh, fire is still going and it's not getting too close to the left hand side.
Now here's the reason, by the way, that I haven't put the sails up. It's because there is a bridge and I just can't be asked going up and down twice. It's like me in real life. You know when you go outside once, you can never be asked to go outside again. That's exactly what it's like with that one. Going up again? Screw that, man. Anyway, uh, so now you can put the sail up if you want for a bit, but basically we're about to be stranded like an epically beached whale. Which is not good, actually, because whales are nice. Apart from when they want to, you know, eat you and stuff. Yeah. And there we go then, like a fish out of water, like a whale out of water, like a jellyfish out of water, like any sea creature out of water. We got splashed up and soaked away. Right, couple of scraps here. We're going to grab these two. Our ship is right there, so that's our good. And apparently, somehow, miraculously, we did die again. So, old uh, the big sea toe is uh, riding his luck right here, isn't he? So make sure to grab that one, and then with this one, what we're going to do is... In fact, I think there's a repair box somewhere underneath, underneath on the floor. That's why I went to have a look at there. Uh, if not, that's fine. We're just going to keep it in this little stowaway section anyway. So again, make sure that you've got your, all four hooks topped up. Um, you need to do a bit of repair in here, so make sure to grab the repair box and then repair the fire pit and go over to the right-hand side to repair the engine -y bit. Of course, as you can see, I'm an expert on all things engine -y. Uh So just uh, leave the plant pot there for now. Basically, we're going to get a rear end soon so we can stick our plant in our rear end, which, uh, well, that sounded less weird in my head. Oh, whatever you do, don't stick plants in your rear end. Some great advice there from me once again. Otherwise, for the time being, we can just get the fire going. Again, hopefully, at this point, you have now sort of got an inkling of what to do, how to start things. We're just getting the fire, and we are going.
So here we are then, we are just about to crash. Now, one thing I should say is don't get confused there with the steam at the top, which it looks like the mast is broken. So the amount of times that I had to take took the repair box up, I've obviously edited a lot of it out. The, the amount of times I took the repair box up because I thought it was broken and it was just the bloody steam. I the stupid, but uh, it's all good. So I show you how stupid, how not stupid I am. Uh, so <laughs> by editing, editing it all out, aren't I just a peach? Right, push the mast up then and do a climb. Like I said, this is going to happen for the majority of the game. Sailing, 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 then doing a little puzzle. Climb up. And to be fair to this guy, infinite breath. Um, and honestly, just infinite stamina because I'm knackered watching him climb up. So grab this box and we're going to pull it to the left hand side. Basically, keep going until it's underneath the ladder. So, of course, we can climb in, climb in, climb in. So jump off when we get to the middle here. There is a little box that we are going to grab. So make sure to grab that and climb up. Shoves it on his back like a king. And just drop it down over to the left. That should land up, uh, should end up on your ship. Jump over and go up the stairs. And now we can press the button. But you're going to have to get off it. So when you pull it up, make sure to press the X button to leave go when we get to the next platform. So you actually got to push it into the middle to make it stop. So, you, so it doesn't stop on its own. You have to push it in the middle to make it stop, of course. Uh, so just keep going and then climb up once again. And climb up once again. And then what you're going to do is pull the push this lever all the way over to the right. And that's going to... I mean, I wonder who's leaving this crap in disarray, man. Well, he's probably fired. That's why it's in disarray. My last day on the job? Screw! And we've seen plenty of those types of videos, haven't we? All right, push this blue button there if you did go too far or whatever. That'll put us back. And then we can... Go left, so push the levers left there to go up. And of course, stop it by putting it in the middle there, job done. Again, let go by pressing the X button again. That's another thing hopefully you sh you've gotten used to by now. X button and then X button to grab, X button to let go. I know I've said it enough for, since we're almost 45 minutes in, but you know, gotta get it in ya. Wait, never mind. Right, so. Big massive bits. This is lovely, isn't it? Make sure to grab the... Oh, never mind. We fall down. Uh, no. But it is another repair box, which, again, comes in handy. So anytime we can get a repair box, make sure to grab it. So repair the lift. Pull the lever here to the left, or the right even. And you're going to get the Discover the Ancient... Uh, discover the Ancient's Achievement and have a little ride. And just... Yeah, I, I, got, I got no idea what's going on. Looks like some people there standing above and they're going to jump on them like crowd surfing and stuff. And that's pretty cute. Oh man, that seemed to take forever. Right, anyway, head to the left. We're all good now with the ancient elevator or whatever it is. Drop down, push the button. And this is where we are going to get a brand new rear end. This is like if our ship was squatting for the last year. It's going to get a big juicy rear end that we can stick things into. Uh, the plants and stowaways and stuff, repair boxes. Why did you look at me like that? So, eventually, the ship's going to come into place. Uh, we can't do anything until the door opens on the right. Come in! Come in! Uh, okay, starting to get a little impatient now. And... Ta-da! Right, finally we're there, god damn it. Right, push the blue button in first, and then with the right side lever, you're gonna push that to the right. That's gonna put old Juicy Mama down. All the way down. Bing! As soon as you see the light, push the lever back in the middle. And go to the left-hand side lever, push that to the left, and as soon as you see the light, 
push the lever back in the middle, push the blue button once again, and... Oh, mama, shake what your mama gave ya. Oh, that's a hell of a rear end now that we got now. That is going to get us the all patched up achievement, and we are going to get a few achievements here, uh, two to be exact, for the whole plant pot situation. So, drop down again, and obviously we don't take fall damage as well, by the way, so that is incredible. So, infinite breath, infinite legs. Man, dude must have done some squats in his life. Right, so here is our new little stowaway compartment. It's nice, isn't it? A couple of hooks. So we can put the um, new repair box, the repair toolkit that we got on one of the hooks. And then what we're going to do, we're going to climb up here because, of course, we've got... Um, and there should have been one... There it is. So we've got the one bit of scrap. And again, it's only... You might laugh and say it's only one, but it all comes in handy a little bit later on. So we can just put this in the underneath section of the ship. And then what we're going to do now is go ahead... We're going to grab the plant... And now we're going to put it... Now, there are two achievements. So basically, let's go up the stairs here, go over to the right-hand side, and we're going to put the plant um, over to the right. Now, there are two achievements. One for basically getting the plant to grow to its fullest. That means looking after it. And one for just burning it in the fire. Of Obviously, what we're going to do here is grab the hose to give it some water. Obviously, what we're going to do in this first playthrough is look after it and get it grown to its full potential. So once you've watered it and put the the plant down, you'll get the cultivating and the I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you achievement. I don't know why I'm saying so much American stuff today. Right, so grab the hook there. So there was a hook, sorry, just on there. So what you need to do is go down. This is our first salvage as well. There are six like little treasure chest crates that we can grab throughout the entirety of the game. Uh, so what, and the only way you can get that is by grabbing the hook. Um, again, obviously with the X button as you jump up. Hooking it down onto the chest below and then dragging it up by pulling the lever there to the left hand side. That'll come up, that'll break and it'll only ever be one piece of scrap. But of course that it'll, will come in handy for some fuel and that will come in handy for the achievement later on as well. So make sure to grab that first chest before we leave. You have to do it in a single playthrough as well. So make sure to grab that one. So heading back into the water then, what we are going to do is head straight down and we're going to push the button, open up the door, and we are get, 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 get going, girls. Ah, yeah. Hi. Right then, so we are going to get the fire going. What we're going to do is get the King of the World achievement as well. So what you need to do is basically push the uh, fire until it's basically, again, sort of in the middle, but closer to the right-hand side. Then what we're going to do is push the mast up. So as long as the um, fire is up, might not be able to go up just yet. So maybe I was a bit, uh, well, I you're sort of pre pre -jaculated. Uh, with that one there. So make sure that the fire is sort of close to the right hand side. But not all the way so that the flame is at its massiveness just yet. And then what we're going to do is now go ahead and put the sail up. So you know what to do. Push the big blue, big, big blue button. And blup, big blue button. Climb up. Obviously grab the hook. Tender hooks. We're on tender hooks. Drag that one, and then what you're going to do then is obviously push these sails all the way out again. Now, for this one, you need to get both of these sails out, so make sure that the flag there is all the way at the top. There we go. And then as soon as that's done, press the X button to let go. Now, if the fire is sort of dying down, which of course... Ah, uh, oh, damn it! That'll happen a lot. You'll fall straight through. So, if it is dying out, make sure to put the fire there sort of all the way close to the right-hand side as much as you can. Until it's burning, burning, burning. I'm not sure if you have to have it burning as much as that. Um, but I ended up doing it just in case. Then just go all the way to the front of the ship on the top. And that should get you the King of the World achievement. And that is for standing at the prow of the vessel while traveling at full speed. So I do believe having to put it all the way over into the blue part. 
um, does count. So for now then, again, this is just another saily, saily, sailing bit. So obviously what you're going to do is just making sure that, you, that you're topping your scrap up. As you can see, it's quite empty on mine. So just press the blue button if yours is getting empty. And just make sure that the fire is topping up. And just be on your merry way for the time being. Few minutes. So uh, one quick thing about the flower, make sure, I don't know if you see me do it earlier, but where the flower is, there is a button to open up the sunroof right there. So make sure to do that. As you can see where the flower is, make sure that the sunroof's open so it's getting some light on it. That obviously helps towards the achievement as well. Here is where the second boy is. Uh, now, if you do push past it, that is fine, but we, th there is a treasure chest under here as well. So as you can see, I do end up just pushing past it, which is all good. But if you want to stop the ship, where the gears are... You can drag that, put it in the middle, and that will slow the ship right down. Otherwise, um, when you run out of fire, it will stop anyway. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do. But if you want to st stop the ship immediately, obviously just on top of the fire, where the one lever is, pull it into the middle, where the two arrows are, and there's a circle in the middle. And then, of course, that will stop the ship. Um, otherwise, like I said, it'll go down quite quickly anyway. So anyway, this is where the second treasure chest is then. You need to find... For the majority of the times, you can follow the chains uh, if you're not knowing where to go. The chains will tell you where to go. So go inside of this ship right here. This is where the next treasure chest is. Make sure to hook it up. Press the A button, of course, to swim, swim, swim. I'm swimming on the moon. There's a big whale who wants to eat me like a harpoon. We're whalers on the moon. Um, eventually, we will be able to get up onto our ship. Oh, God, you son of a dick. Yeah, All right, we made it this time. Right, pull it up, and that is the second treasure chest. Once a scrap man's come round, hey, the old iron microwave cookers. Make sure to grab that one if you need to put some in your. Um, scrappy containment thing. Obviously, make sure to do that. Um, now, again, uh, the one thing I actually should say, sorry, one thing I should mention, especially if you are trying the speedrun thing, if you take too long on a puzzle for whatever particular reason, or something's taking too long, you can actually just reload the last checkpoint, and that will reset the timer. So, um, so that, sorry, it's taking me almost an hour to say, but if you have messed up or something's taking too long, you can reload the last checkpoint and it resets the timer. Not to zero, but to however many minutes you were in. There is no in-game timer, but it resets it to um, at whatever time that you were originally on. To so say if we were 55 minutes in, say, but I took 10 minutes longer than I should have to do something. Reload the last checkpoint and that will uh, definitely go in your favor. So just be aware of that one. So for now, we're chucking the sails on. We're going to keep the fires going as well. Um, now, if you want, obviously, there's a lot of wind here. So if you want to save a bit of fuel, you can just use the sails. So obviously, I'm using both. But if you don't want to use both, you don't have to. You can just use the sailing winds if you want. Or you can use both, whichever one that you want. Now, also, as you can see here, I've got the sunroof open above the, water, above the plant. But now and again, we do need to just give it a bit of a water. And you can tell when it's at its full brightest when the white parts are sort of spread out. So every now and again, if you've got nothing to do, just, you know, give you a little sprinkle a tinkle. Huh? Give you a little tinkle a sprinkle and uh, all will be well. Uh, otherwise, we're going through a storm. Sometimes the storm may hit the mast, so you may have to, um, uh, what's the word? Repair it? I've said the word repair so many times, it's lost on meaning. Uh, otherwise, for now, it's going to take a couple of minutes to get through this bad boy. And no!
Oh my god, you guys, we made it. Hi. There we go. So, we did make it. Now, I did try taking my sails down. Um, I don't know what the hell happened there, but we, we're taking the sails down. But we are coming up to yet another puzzly bit. So, we are actually going to push the mast up and just uh, relax for 30 seconds or so. But we will need the mast to climb up the ladder, to climb up the next ladder, to do more climb laddering. And to get the stuff that we need to do more lime claddering. Lime claddering. Honk. Oh, that was a hell of a landing, that one. But our ship is massive. It is fantastic. And as it turns out, we didn't even need to put the mast up. Sorry, I got a little bit of ahead of myself there. We will need the mast up for other puzzles later on, though. So just getting you practicing. So time to climb. So that's what we're going to do. So keep climbing. What are we in? An hour in now. We're obviously going for the diving module. Uh, but there are no other missable achievements or anything on this particular point. So, what are we going to do then? There is a repair box there at the top. Uh, you can just leave that there because we've got to come back through this part anyway. So, if you want to leave it there or just do what I've done, it literally makes not but a lick of but difference. So, heading through the door, which just randomly unlocks for us, which is nice. Do some climbing. So then what we're going to do, we are going to grab the hose, but what we need to do is push the... So if you push it right, water comes out. If you push it to the left, which, hello, where am I going? Uh, if you push it to the left, it starts uh, sucking it dry. So what you're going to do is jump in the middle, press the X button here to put it on the machine. That'll get the water out. And we can start climbing, climbing, climbing. Incredibly, the, the hose itself doesn't get caught or anything, which is tidy. Uh, climb up the next ladder. And then... Oh, what are we going to see in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the way up the top then. Jump over to the left, of course. Otherwise, you'll fall straight back down. Grab and pull the lever here to the right. And that'll start getting some stuff going. And then, as you can see, we can now reach the button, which we couldn't reach before because we're just a toe. Obviously, toes are tiny, so... Right, so drop down onto the middle. Again, no fall damage. That's good. P push the button up. That gets us the module we need. So we can drop down once, twice, and we can pull the lever now all the way to the right. And, of course, that's going to start filling up the mechanism there with water. As soon as it's on the way down, of course, we're going to jump on. Go, jammy toe, go. Now we can just press the X button to get rid of the hose. There you go. Give me hose. And when we get to the bottom of course, there is going to be no. That In fact, the module is obviously bigger than us. So, bruh, that is Crush Central right there. So, head to the left. Head to the left. Now, now. And then what are you going to do? We're going to press... On top of here, we're going to press the blue button. That's going to uh, swing the swinger around. The old swing bags. And what you can do is grab the hook. And there are a bunch of pervs who went swingers. Where? Where? <laughs> and if you don't know what a swinger is, well, ask your parents. They probably got keys in other balls. <laughs> Sorry to make you all think of your parents like that. But anyway, hook it onto the module. I'm such a git. Hanging on to the module, and of course, what we're going to do is uh, jump back up, grab the repair box with you this time, and you can actually just fling that over to the left if you want. But we're going to push the blue button again, and that's going to get it going, and swinging it around. Swingers, 
Like your parents, remember? <laughs> Sorry. And once the swingers have had enough and they want to go home, what we're going to do then is just pull the lever all the way down to the right. That will automatically lock into our ship. And are you ready? Geronimo! There we go. So, again, death is not an issue in this game, which is grande. So there we go. We've got our second repair toolkit. Potentially a third if you found one on the sea floor earlier where I tried to look, but there wasn't one there. But anyway, two is good. Two is especially good if you're not very... If you're breaking more stuff than usual. Otherwise, what we can do is just pop this one in. Now, this is the diving module. So now we will have more stuff to do on the ship. So if you're only just about getting used to the engine fire stuff, well, we've got more stuff to do. <laughs> um, but again, it it is one of those that, yes, it can seem tricky first, but honestly, it's not too bad after, you know, the first couple of times. So drop down in the water here. Make sure to grab what looks like a duck. This is actually just a piece of scrap that you can use. So um, I'm just going to pop this here on the left-hand side for now. doesn't matter where you put it. Doesn't matter what you use, it all ends up scrapping as a scrap, scrap on a scrap bag, anyway. So, what, how to do this, make sure then, uh, oh, well, let's go and water our plant first. And again, also, one other thing I should say, if the, you reload at any time, as you can see, the sunroof is now closed. The reason being, I reloaded a couple of times, um, so any time that you've got to reload a last checkpoint or whatever, make sure that you're still watering your plant and you're keeping the sunroof open. Very important to do that. But to use the hose, make sure that the lever there is on the right. Grab it, grab the hose, put it over to the left-hand side, which is the diving thing. And, well, <laughs> we're diving, boys. We're a submarine now, holy crap. More faces than Piers Morgan. And everyone knows who Piers Morgan, in, uh, Piers Morgan is because he is complete and utter douchebaggery. Uh, <laughs> yes, he is. Right then, so how to use the submarine? Now, of course, the, where I'm at right now is where the, basically the controls are. So to go down, you also need to push it to the right. To go up, you need to push the lever to the left. Um, so that may get confusing a little bit sometimes, but again, it's one of those that you get used to. But anyway, what we're going to do is dive down first, and we are going to grab two pieces of scrap. So uh, whichever way you go, uh, you can go... Ah, uh, never mind, apparently my door's not opening. Well, screw, buddy. I don't want to go that way anyway. So apparently there's only one way they're going, and that is up through the bottom. <laughs> oh, it's too easy. It's too easy. But uh, sadly, we are still yet to have a poop deck. Or, you know, the jizz jazz deck. Uh, no, I'm just joking. But anyway, uh, grab the two bits of scrap again. We need to be grabbing as many scrap as we can. Um, just because, you know, we want to get through this game quick as we can. Although it is very good so far, of course. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but, uh, you know. So, grab that one then. So again, like I said, what we'll be doing, of course, is going forward. So now, you have to make sure that you've got enough scrap and that you're still keeping the fire going. Plus, you need to be aware of your surroundings. Now, I don't think you can damage the submarine underwater. But remember, it's right to go down and left to go up. Again... You can get confused with that. I got confused so many times when I started. I thought, oh, I'll try and avoid that. And then ended up going more into it because I went the wrong way. So left down, right up, okay? And obviously, if you keep it in the middle, it keeps it nice and steady. Now, obviously, we are going to be a little bit slower um, underneath in the sea, of course. That's just the way it is. Um, but again, this will just be a tutorial bit for now. So, obviously, you've got a little bit more to do. So, just you've got to make sure that the hooks underneath ha uh, have a enough scrap on them. Make sure that you've got enough scrap going and obviously make sure as you can see, which I haven't done, is keep the fire burning. And again, if you don't have anything to do, uh, remember to go ahead and water your plant. Even though our sunroof is open and there's water getting all into it, um, somehow 
this water doesn't work. Is my water not good enough for you now? Well, fine. So obviously all we're doing on this bit then is, it's again, it's the tutorial of trying to avoid stuff, how to steer and things like that. But what we are actually going to do is stop right now. So as you can see underneath there are two what kind of just looks like big pipes. We're just going down ever so slightly because there are a couple of scraps, more scraps. Scrappy chips, mmm. You know like the hard crunchy chips at the end? Yeah, they're quite nice. Oh, I'm just a fat git and I just like all chips. Doesn't make a difference to me. It all goes down one way and comes out the other, doesn't it? So, uh, it's all delicious. Apart from the ending. Uh, especially if you have specific food. Anyway, there are four pieces of scrap that we're going to grab. So, just grab that. I'm going to shut up and leave you in peace for a second. And then after we've grabbed that, we will be on our merry little way again. So, obviously, as you can see, the, the very right arrow is the fastest, the smaller arrow is a little bit slower, the left arrow is reverse, and of course the circle is stop, as you are probably well aware by now, but just thought I'd let you know again. Otherwise, we're just going to keep on going. Of course, just keep checking your surroundings, keep making sure that the fire is topped up. Um, otherwise, you're just going up and down. Remember, it's left up, right down. So for this next bit then, we're going to be heading all the way down. Now, especially when the submarine section, just one more thing I'll tell you. I always highly advise keeping hold of the left trigger to keep zooming out. Because if you uh, if you go in and zoom in, you obviously can't see where you're going. So I do highly advise there just holding the left trigger so you can actually see what you're doing. That's it. Right then, boys and girls, we're going to make a little stop off here. Bing, bong, stop off. As you can see, there are three scraps on the floor, which we are going to grab. So make sure to either stop the ship there by pushing the gear into the middle, or you can actually just jump down, uh, grab all the scrap that you can, and the fire will go out eventually anyway. Or we're going to crash. So either way, whatever you do, you're not going to get left behind. So go ahead, grab all three scraps.
No, my God, it's a little ruined underwater civilization. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, as we progress forward inch by inch, ever so slowly, what we're going to do when we get to the top of here, we are going to stop. There's another couple of scraps that we are going to grab. Ah, nicely done, broski. I've just managed to put it in a way where the pipe is completely in the way. Um, so I was going to reload the session, but then I couldn't be asked. So sometimes this will happen. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so if you can't see, just push the blue button and just get the fire going. And eventually we'll start being on our way. But we are going to be coming up to our third treasure chest for the Salvage Hunter achievement. Uh, in literally just a few hot seconds. So get it going. I mean, obviously, you've got to put the uh, gear into the right-hand side speedy speed mode first, obviously. And right here then is where we are going to stop. So as you can see on the bottom there, there is a hook device where we can put a hook in. Why am I not remembering where to put a hook in? You put the hook in the goose? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, again, obviously always make sure that your hooks underneath there are topped up with scrap. And then what we're going to do, we are obviously going to go to the left hand side. Obviously keep making sure that your water on your plants all topped up. Uh, we'll do that in just a bit. Uh, so what we're going to do then, we are going to uh, interact with the hook just to pull it down. Or push it down, or whatever it, whatever it down. Or you can grab it whichever way. I don't know why I've done it that way. So what you need to do then is hook it onto the hookeroni. Pepperoni hookeroni. Go back up. Now the chest will not be able to come out of here, which is a damn shame. Uh, so what you need to do is basically just open it just a little bit enough for you to get through for some reason I pull it all the way over to the left. You don't need to do that. Just pull it enough. So uh, Just enough of a hole Will appear for you to get through down down through even And eventually I'm going to be honest. I thought it was just a glitch or something I, I thought we had to go another way and as it turns out I was just being very silly uh, but no there we go, so... Come on, you dumb dumb. Right, so again, like I said, you didn't really need to push it, pull it all the way over to the left. So we can go down, head now to the left. And there's a little door, which is just going to go... Oh, hi there, Toe Jam and Earl. Head down and head to the right. So you're in this little underwatery section here of uh, sections. And we're going to go through the right-hand side door. There it is then. So if we head up, there is going to be a little uh, slidey door for us to open once again. It can be kind of tricky to see, but, you know, I believe in you. You've got them epic, beautiful eyes, you know, you know. So make sure to go ahead, of course, and grab the hook, which should still be in the hookeroni. And then obviously go to the right, drop down, grab the chest, and head back up, and then pull it all the way up. Although... It's going to take a little bit of time, because uh, it's quite the while away. Mm. 
So while we're waiting for that then, what we can do is actually head back down. And then we're actually going to get an achievement here called Turning on the Lights. And that is for just activating the underwater gate. So head down. Down, 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 down. Head down, push the button then. And you're going to get like this little cutscene for turning on the lights. Job done. Grab the deer. That, that's just a piece of scrap as well. So even though it does look inviting and looks very nice, you can use it as decoration. Or if you're desperate, you can use it as scrap. So the turn on the lights achievement will appear. And then what we can do is go and grab the um, scrap from the left hand side treasure chest that we got as well from the Savage Hunter achievement. It's hard end deer. Grab the scrap from the left, put the deer wherever you want. And, uh, well, then we can just get going once again. Las Vegas! Freedom! Las Vegas! Yeah. And we're back up onto the water, so we don't have to worry about the submarine stuff, uh, which is all good. So now we can... I mean, if you want to, because there is an achievement for uh, basically being underwater for 10,000 M's. Um, but again, we'll just get that at the end of the game very quickly. So, uh, again, if you want to, of course, make sure that your sunroof is open and that your plant is being nice and watered. We need to grow this into something spectacular.
And again, here's the reason why I haven't put the mast and the sails up just yet, because there is another bridge. As soon as we get past it, though, we can put the mast, we can put the sails up and go a little bit quicker. So obviously the reason that I'm not talking through these parts now is hopefully you should be definitely at a point now where you know what to do um, and you're sort of a little bit less stressed than you potentially were earlier on. Hopefully. So you're going to definitely want to put your sails in right now. There is a building coming, or the big rock formation coming up. So you're definitely going to want to pop your sails in. Otherwise, we are going to get slammed. There it is. So it did end up, it actually ended up get, getting slammed right there. Um, so, what is going to happen now? We've got the mast up. We do actually need to start climbing up wonderfully, beautifully now. So, get them up, sons. Now, you would have noticed the uh, little bit of edit skip. So basically, you have to do this with incredible timing. So what we're going to do, first of all, is grab these uh, four bits of scrap and just toss them down the hole. Toss it down. Grenade! So as you can see, as you can see the little bits of white there, that's the wind. Now, the wind is going to push us back. So what you need to do, wait up the ladder here until the wind stops, then drop down, and then immediately make a break for it. If you keep pressing and holding the A button, you can jump to get there a little bit quicker. Hold on to this first bit of bridge. But again, you have to do it in quite good timing. So, when you hear that the wind has stopped, even though if the whites are still going on screen, when the wind drops and stops completely and you don't hear it, make a break for it. So, basically, you kind of have to do this to just about get over to the next part right there. As you can see, the wind picks up once again quite quickly. And all windy knickers will see. Who's looking at my, who's looking at my dressing gown when the wind goes up there? Mm. Mm. Right, when the wind has dropped, stopped, rocked and rolled, we are going to stay here, and then we are going to... Uh, th there is like a little ladder there that we can actually jump up. But somehow, even though we're higher, the wind doesn't affect us the higher up we get. Somehow. Don't know how that works, but it's all good. Right, so now we are going for the energy boost module. So we're going to drop down. Now this requires... Now I know I've said so far... Uh, what we're going to do first of all, I'll explain it just a bit, but we're going to head down to find four scrap and four hooks. So, of course, what you're going to do is put all the scrap on the hooks. Like so. Like a so, like a mom I used to mess up. Right, so once that's done then, what we're going to do, uh, head up, drag the box over to the left there so we can actually climb up and get the hell out of here. Climb up. And up again. So, what you're going to see now. Now, remember on the ship, I've told you to sort of keep it in the middle, not all the way over to the right-hand side. This time, we're going to do it over, over to the right-hand side. So, once we have um, pushed the button up here at the top, we are going to get... I mean, it's the opposite way, the, the, the diameter thing. What you're going to do is get the flame absolutely bussing. Now, you need to keep this going, but we need to... So, it needs to stay like that. But obviously, we do need um, to uh, obviously get more scrap, and we also need to keep it cool. So the hose is there at the top. So just keep pushing for on it for now. And now that the engine temperature is starting to get a bit hot, we are now going to douse the hose. So grab the hose, make sure to cool the engine down. And as you can see, there is like a little blue light over on the left-hand side. So just keep making sure that the red line there is in the blue side. And basically, when that blue line on the left-hand side has enough 
blue all the way running through its pipes. Uh, the button will pop open like so if you have a look at the bottom right now. The button pops open and then we can press it giving us an energy boost. Um, so I accidentally just pressed the button there. But nope, there we go. So once that button pops out, that will give us an energy boost. That's going to spin the room around. Now on our ship, what that's going to do is give us like, a little speed boost. That's all that's going to do. Um, but in all honesty, I think I use it twice from here until the end of the game. Basically, it as I said earlier, if you go all the way to the right hand side, it will literally just burn through fuel. So unless you've got loads absolutely spare, um, I would advise against doing the energy boosts quite a lot. Uh, you know, I don't do it and we still have plenty of time to get the um, speedrunner achievement as well. So make sure that you popped open the button. Sorry, forgot to mention there. So make sure that you popped open the button there. And that will pop open the module that we need, the energy boost module. Otherwise, we can just go all the way to the top left corner here. We're going to pull the lever, uh, push the lever to the right. And that's obviously going to grab that one. So, yeah. So, as I said, it's completely up to you. But in terms of the energy boost module, I think I genuinely ended up using it twice. There is an achievement for um, traveling a thousand M's with the energy boost module. But we can, again, we can easily get that with checkpoint and chapter select at the end of the game. So, yeah, I literally don't bother. But for now, what we're going to do is just keep stamping, stamping, stamping. And we are done with this part. We now have the energy boost. Boost module. We are boosting, boys. Boosted. Once we get here, we can now pull the lever to the right to pop it all the way back. Doing. And down, down, down the rabbit hole she goes. Yeah, yeah, she's slower than my nan with double hip surgery and no legs. Okay. Once we're good, we are good to go. Uh, so what we can do is just drop down. Down, 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 down. And apparently not break our little tiny legs. So, uh, whichever way you do it, literally doesn't matter. You can either put the scrap in first, or we can just push this down, and that'll get us the achievement called Ancient Energy. So let us see how we're going to do this then. So as I said, for the majority, we're not going to be using it. Again, completely up to you, but I would highly advise against using it just because we need to save sort of as much fuel as we can to get to the end of the game. I'm thinking more of the speedrunner achievement, which we are still on good course. Remember, we have up to three and a half hours to do it. So what you're going to do is put the fuel in or the scrap in and make sure that the fireometer line or whatever it's called is on the right hand side. As you can see, just above it, a blue line is starting to fill up. Now, you need that blue line to go all the way over to the right-hand side. Um, and that is how you would get the button out. That's that's pretty much it. But, of course, as I said, doing this uses a lot of fuel. And, of course, make sure to check your engine temperature mode. Because if that goes down and the fire goes down, the blue line will start dissipating. Um, basically going down. So, you just need to keep on... Uh, so, again, just keep having a look there at the top right-hand corner. You can see that the blue bar is starting to slowly fill up. So again, if you do need to get some more scrap, go ahead and just grab it from the top. Probably would have been easier to grab the scrap and put it uh, by the side of you, but it's all good. And as you can see, so the blue button on the right-hand side is now open. And it is now ready for us to use. So you're going to use it, push it in. And of course, in normal circumstances, what that's going to do is just give you like a little bit of a speed boost. But as I said, and I'll say it for the last time, you don't... You go... F a little bit extra fast for about five seconds and then that's it um and again i'd rather save the fuel than go that little bit faster but it's completely up to you so make sure to obviously open up the sunroof as well i've had to reload a couple of times that's why my sunroof is closed so just make sure that's open and make sure that the water is uh good to go uh on your plant as you can see there's more plant stuff that should be happening and we'll also get the seafarer achievement as well right um Right then, so again, this is supposed to be like a little tutorial bit with how to use the energy booster if you wanted to a couple of times. Otherwise, for literally the next five minutes or so, um, 
you can just put the mast up, you can put the sails up, keep the fire going, and sail along happily for five minutes. Uh, but literally, you just do the whole management inventory thing, making sure that the hooks are still topped up with scrap, and all that jazz magoni. All that we've been doing so far. Um, if you wanted to... Uh, you can actually use the submarine, go underwater, and just go underwater to get a little bit of extra, um, for uh, a little bit of extra mileage there for the 10,000 miles or the 10,000 M's that we've got to do for uh, staying underwater in the submarine. But it's completely up to you. Whatever you fancy doing, it doesn't matter. But for the next few minutes, until we get to the next buoy, we're finally getting up to the next buoy, we're just doing all that we've learned so far. So here we are then, the next BIO is coming up. Now, of, of course, remember, we have to push past it. Do not go under this BIO uh, as the submarine. We have to push through all BIOs. Uh, is it just pronounced boys or is it BIO? I mean, why do they spell it so weird? Why is the English language so silly? They just put random letters in an order and just go nuts. Yeah, there you go. Right, so there is the B-U-O-Y, so we'll push past that, so that is the next one done. Now what we're also going to do is, we're going to stop the boat, and we're going to head downtown, brown town. Yes, we are going to go for a little dive to get the next Salvage Hunter treasure chest as well. So, this should be number four, so, uh, Salvage Hunter treasure number four, and the boy three out of six. So, head down again, obviously if you're stuck, just go left or right until you see a chain. The chain of command. And we'll just keep heading down, and eventually, it should be not on the sea floor because we've got a little puzzle to do. So head to the right, and then what you're going to do is drop the hook. We'll grab this box, 
and we'll drag that to the left only until it, we get it there, until it starts moving the pipe. So grab the hook again, and then we can head underneath, and pa -ba! there we go, and that's it. There's the treasure chest. Head back up, lever it up, and jobs a gooden. Gooden tag, yeah? And while we wait for that then, if you can uh, go ahead, water your plant if you want, make sure the sunroof's open, uh, pop the gear here, the engine gear, into overdrive, and, you know, make sure everything's topped up, make sure everything's all good to go. Uh, cause it's always worth doing, just um, while we're waiting for things. There we go, there's that one. Uh, in fact, no, it's not yet. No, I thought the achievement unlocks here, but it doesn't. Uh, so, yeah, just, because um, this one does take a while to come up, so... Let's have a look around, make sure you've got everything topped up in terms of the uh, four hooks and everything scrappy's all good. Otherwise, there it goes. Right, and when we've done that then, we can now just, well, let's keep on moving. Oh, baby, keep on walking. Except for some reason I was having tr trouble moving there. So again, hopefully you know what to do by now. You've topped everything up. Everything's looking good. So now we can just move on our merry way. And uh, yeah, let's get the sails getting fixed. Apparently my, <laughs> I need to repair it. Obviously things may be different for you, of course. Other things may need repairing at some point, including this pad here, me, uh, the engine. A uh, few parts need repairing. And of course it's pretty much random, whatever breaks. Um, I didn't need to repair much. You do get an achievement for repairing the vessel at least 10 times. Um, but nothing much broke for me. I, apparently it did at least 10 times, but <laughs> apart from that, it's, uh, yeah, not too shabby. So, just popping the mast down, and popping the sail back, and there is a reason for that. So just keep on using the fire for now, and keep on cracking on. And the reason that be is we're going through the second thunderstorm of the game. So this time we are going to submarine it. So grab the hose, put it in the diving module. And of course make sure that the lever is pointed to the right so that we can start heading down. Now you can uh, do this in sort of both ways. Now there's nothing to steer with here. And this next part is going to take, you know, several minutes. Because all we're doing is literally just moving forward. Um, you can go ahead and use the energy boosts if you want. If you want to go underwater. Um, again, personally, because I was completely paranoid, as we can see, we, we don't have a lot of scrap left. He was a little paranoid, so I didn't bother. I just kept it, kept it there, and this next bit is pretty chill for the next sort of few minutes or so. But again, you can go up above water if you want, um, but just be aware that the lightning can hit the mast, so you'll just have to repair it. It literally depends on what you prefer, what you want to do. Um, obviously, doing... Being a submarine and doing it this way also gets us the um, some progress towards 
sailing underwater for you're not sailing underwater you're being and putting the vessel underwater for 10,000 ebbs so uh, that's why I decided to do it this way but again like I said you can do energy boost that's fine if you're as paranoid as me about the fuel just leave it as it is and uh, yeah I'll see you on a flip side
so, you kings and queens, once we have gotten out of the biggest storm of our life, so what's going to happen is there's going to be the next Bioi and the next treasure chest. So it'll be four for the boy, five out of six for the salvage hunter. Um, and it's coming up just... You can see in the background there, like the ball thing, whatever the hell that is. And it's actually just coming up now. You won't see me unlock it on screen because I'm too busy messing about underwater here. But we are just about... We are going to start pushing past it ever so soon, and then pretty much directly after that is uh, a thing that we can crash into, or that we will crash into in order to do the next puzzle. So, again, apologies that you may not see me unlock it on screen here. No. So I'll just show you anyway. Again, as like I said, as long as you've gone past it, uh, sailed past it on top of the water, there it is, as long as you've gone uh, past it on top of the water and haven't gone underneath it, then you'll still be able to, that, that'll obviously still count. So that should be number four out of uh, six. Head down, follow the chain down, and that'll be the treasure chest five out of six. So yeah, again, apologies, that was a bit of a mess up there. I was too busy messing about underwater and <laughs> actually ended up missing it. But again, as long as you're on top of the water going past it, you'll be fine, just fine. There you go, any old scrap for I any old scrap metal! Yes, here we are. Rana will grab that and uh, kindly chuck it straight. Uh, well, we'll leave it here. Oh, in fact, yeah, leave it there. Again, like I said, you don't want to use scrap and put it in when it's at least a quarter or, you know, you want to you wanna put the scrap in when it's basically at the, at the very, very end. So you don't unnecessarily waste some. So we are going to crash, like I said. We were literally seconds away from that other boy. So from here then, what we can do is just obviously head right and do a lot of climbing, climbing again. I am tired watching this broski brosk. So there is a lever on the right, but it doesn't work at the minute. So again, we're going to do some climbing, 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 climbing all day long. And again, the, I mean, these areas are very uh, unmanned, aren't they? Very terrible. So jump over the gap, obviously make sure not to fall down, otherwise you will not die, but you will, uh, you know, have to climb again, and that's a bit of an inconvenience. Uh, otherwise, we can climb up, climb up. No wind up here. We are good, dog. And here's the lever that is going to work, and what we're going to do is push, pull this to the right. Pull or push it to the right. Now... Uh, when you see the shadow from the top one on the bottom one that we're swinging around now, push the lever back in the middle to make it stop. That's when you know you've hit it correctly. So, as soon as there's a shadow underneath it, there we go, that'll do. That'll look good. Then we can just drop down. Again, don't know why there's a ladder there, because we can drop down without breaking ankles. Incredible. Uh, push the button on the right-hand side of this little box. And then give it a little pushy swing, swing off. Scablamo! There we go. Jump to uh, the left. Keep, keep on jumping to the left. And jump down! There we go. And jump down again! And crack your ankles! Ouchie! And then obviously just use and pull the lever to the left. And that is going to get something delicious for us. Delicious that we can't eat. Okay, so it wasn't something delicious, but it did move out of the way for us. So now we can move on, uh, move on by. So, are you qualified for that achievement? Should have unlocked for you right there. And what I am going to get also is, I'm not sure if it's going to be the same for you. Your, yours might pop now, yours might pop a little bit later on. Don't worry if it doesn't pop now. Is the beauty in disaster. So now, because we basically have to start heading down, submarine-wise... Um, so we dropped down, I thought, oh, I'll give it a... Uh, well, you know, it'll fall down the hole like a silly, like a silly goose. Um, there it is then, so... There we go. That is what it's supposed to look like. I got the Beauty and Disaster achievement right there again. 
You might have got it earlier, you may get it a little bit later. Um, either way, as long as you keep watering in it and sun sunroofing it, you should be golden as nuggets left. So, uh, pop the uh, hose in the diving device and put it all the way to the right there, the lever, and we'll start heading down. Down. Uh, not too far down, of course. Uh, pop the lever in the middle there and we'll get going once again. So when we get to the other side here, make sure you go in sort of slow because there is a scrap uh, piece of scrap. For me, it was floating literally in mid-air, which was kind of annoying, really. Um, usually that part is on the ground, uh, but for some reason it was floating in, in mid-air. So that's why I'm just floating up. That's why I decided to float up because, yes, it's only one piece of scrap, but my God, does it come in handy. Uh, so make sure to grab that piece anyway. Like I said, normally it's closer to the ground, but for whatever reason it wasn't that time. don't know if that was just a... Kind of a buggy one or what, but uh, as well, as long as you got it, we're all good. Uh, now we are going to head back underwater. We are going to... So basically, even if you stayed upstream, um, you'll end up crashing into an iceberg anyway. So we're going to go underwater just to get some more miles for the 10,000 M's that we have to emanate. That we have to Emmy Martinez. Although, of course, it is quicker if you sail, so it's completely up to you. I'm telling you why you were going submarine, and actually, we are about to go grab a couple of scrap pieces. So, I told you there's always a reason for my madness. Um, but, but yeah, it depends if you want to do it quick. Again, you can miss these if you want, and just use these sails to sail you across at the top, uh, on top of the water. Again, totally up to you if you want to do that, but that is the reason that we are going submarining, is to get some scrappies. Any old Ryan?
So after a nice little fast bit, as it were, we are just about to head back down. So, you know the drill, take off the sail, take on the masts, and we're going back into water, boys. So then what you're going to see is this little door. I say it's a little door. It's actually quite a big door. Pretty much big enough to fit a fat boy submarine through. Uh, but there are going to be a couple of scrappies as well. So remember, if you want to move back, of course, you can do that with the engine gear at the top. Or if you want to move forward, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but from here, what we can do, which, well, we'll raise ourselves up just a little bit there. Terrible, terrible driving from me, which uh, just emanates into my real life, actually, as well. Which is a shame, isn't it? Uh, but we will keep slowly moving forward. We're only going to slowly move forward. Only because there are a couple of bits of scraps that are on the floor. So as soon as we start moving forward again, put it in the sort of first arrow there with the uh, engine gear. Head out and grab these three bits of scrap. Again, don't worry if your ship's going too far away, it'll prob it'll stop eventually where, when you've run out of fire anyway, and of course you are faster than your ship because you have that, those things around your neck, which is obviously I'd like to have one of those. I'd also like the, to have the ability where I don't break my ankles and the ability to breathe underwater and basically never die. That'd be fantastic. Anyway, for now what we're going to do is just head forward. And we are now at this T-Junction Road Junction. Luckily, with no angry douchebaggy motorists. But what we're going to do, we're going to crash. And we're actually going to head down first. So the way is up. But what we're going to do is go down. Only because there is another couple of scrappy pieces on the floor. Ready to stick deliciously inside your inventory. So there you are. Two right there. Go grab them. And then we can head up.
So, like I said, now we're going to head up as soon as you've got those scrap pieces. And then what you're going to see, it's like a device that you basically... It, there's only one way to explain it. It looks like it'll clamp onto something round. Um, and I'll tell you what, the, the whole of my downstairs area just winced in pain. So, yeah, you'll see what I mean anyway. It looks like a clamp on something that could be perceived as round and hurty. So you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment. So keep heading forward. So we get at the top, obviously we're going to head right. Because that's the only way forward. And as we get to the top here, what you need to do is now do a little bit of sort of careful driving. So this is where your ball clamper is. <gasps> Ouch, Mo. Um, but you have to sort of um, go... So again, you just have to do it quite slowly. So I'd slow things down. Uh, put your submarine here just up above. And then, of course, we're going to have to stop. We are going to have to stop. Maybe do a little bit of reversing as well. When you see the light, by the way, that is when you know you're on. There it is. So when, when the light is on, you can stop the ship. And you can just slowly lower it down. And that is going to clamp your balls like no tomorrow. Jesus. Jimus Dismas. Okay, so when the uh, pain or the thought of pain, it's like... You know, zipping up your jean and jeans and accidentally catching it. Uh, we can head down and we can head to the right and just follow the lights upwards. Uh, there we go. This door is going to open. Thanking you. Spanking you very much. Uh, but we're almost done here with the floating city. We will be basically doing the final sort of two levels, as it were. Uh, but head down. And what you're going to see is, again, another small puzzle. You've probably, you probably know what to expect by now. Uh, so, what we're going to do, if we go up by this massive Megalodon machine right here, what you're going to see is a button and a lever. So, first of all, we need to go downwards and push this button, which is just underneath this machine. So, give that a little smack with your old chicken nugget head. I was just joking. Nobody, n nobody's got a chicken nugget head. That, that's okay. I was just, I was just joking. It's, it's this airy. It's this airy. Anyway, once that's done, go up. We're going to push the button. In fact, no, we are going... Sorry, what we're going to do is pull this over. As soon as you see the light on top, you can stop and push the button. And that will indicate that we can now push or grab the uh, device. So pull this sort of elevator lift device thing all the way over to the left. Again, just watch out for the light on top of the crane lift thing, whatever the hell we're in. As soon as it lights up, stop by push or pulling the lever in the middle, of course. And plop the button on. Plop it in, now. Right, once that is securely in place. Oh, yeah. We can now head all the way to the right, all the way to the right-hand side to find another one. And there she blows, matey. So, as soon as the light pops on, you know what to do. Stick your head in the button. That'll pop that one up. Uh, this time, what we're going to do, as soon as we can, we're going to go to the left and put this in where we got the original device. So, this is basically like changing AA batteries, except it's a lot heavier and a lot more weirdly complicated. Duh, ruh, ruh. So, as soon as you see the light again, of course, remember to stop. Pull up. Uh, whatever the song goes. Stop. Hammer time. No, oh, no, wait, I was going to sing Eminem, just lose it, but uh, I won't this time. Right, as soon as that's done, what we can do is go all the way down, and we can push the button once again. 
Uh, for some reason, I was forgetting that, but we're going to push the button again. That's going to get this whole little scene going on, and life is looking grande. So as soon as everything apparently connects together, like kings that we are, we're going to grab these scraps. Now, if you press the A button and the X button pretty much immediately as you're swimming up, that'll just shift them straight up, sort of. Um, and that just, you know, I think it might save a couple of seconds here and there. But anyway, there are three scraps, uh, pieces of scrap, so we can head basically all the way up and just go ahead and put every scrap into our little stowaway corner, because God knows we need it. So, I don't know if you've been using your energy boost at all, but we are going to have to do it this time. We're going to pull the floating city up from out beneath its own button snatch. So, again, obviously, if you remember, obviously you'll hopefully remember what to do. Light the fire all the way until the fireometer there is pointing all the way to the right, and it is blazing. There we go. Uh, we'll just keep doing this there. As you can see, the blue line just above the engine there is rising, rising, rising. So we're just going to keep doing this. Obviously, as you are well aware by now, keep checking on your scrap. As soon as you think that it's going to uh, disintegrate or di disappear, go ahead and push that one to get more in. Make sure to turn the hose on, of course. Uh, otherwise, you ain't getting no water. So cool the engine down and then just keep going, keep going. And once the old button pops out, ba ba, like a nip, like a like a big nipple when you're absolutely freezing. Bing. Uh, push the button. This cutscene should happen, and then bam, we have got the floating city up. We are kings, and there's no one here to see us. No one here to to witness the greatest miracle on earth. Toe. Does it look like a half decent city, mind? Although, you know, <laughs> easy to easy to drown, easy to, uh, you know, easy to go swimming in the cold icy sea, so maybe not the best way. So anyway, what we're going to do, you should get the achievement there for a re in biggering, if you if that's a word, the floating city. But what we're going to do is head up to the ladder here on the left, push the button to watch it go from night to day, and just enjoy the floatingness of the cityness.
So what you would think is, right, that's it then. Job done. End of the game. But we're not quite there yet. We are now uh, going to be going through the ice level, which isn't as bad as you may think. Um, it does hold pretty much the most annoying achievement in the game, though. So that's always something to look forward to, isn't it? Um, but again, I won't be doing that until the very, very end of the game, where I've put a special video in for everyone. Um, because this video was... Uh, pretty fantastic, and it did help me to no end, so that's why I did it, I want to help you. So what we're going to do then, we're going to uh, put the mast and the sails on. Um, I believe it was probably better to do it the other way around, in terms of get the fire going and the engine first. Or, as it turns out, not at all. So, <laughs> do apologise. Uh, so putting the mast and the sails on, and that'll get us effectively going. And then... Like I said, for the next few minutes, what we're going to be doing is just a little bit of steering. So, you can submarine if you want, but I'm pretty much just going to stay on top. Uh, because in a few minutes, we are going to be coming up to another boy and salvage hunter, or treasure chest. So, for now, when the little cutscene uh, finishes, we'll get the what now achievement. And then we can start getting the engine going and making a break for it. There are a few buildings on the way though, so if I were you, I would probably put my sail in, just in case. Especially if I haven't got that many repair tools left. Just for this part, anyway. So as soon as we float out of the uh, floating city, there is the next Bioi, and that'll be number five out of six. So again, just, um, in fact, oh, in fact, there you go, it's just moved out the way for us. So I was going to say, you can either stop it, um, and then just blast through it later on, because we need to get another treasure chest, the last treasure chest as well. Or, as you can see, we've already gone through it, so that will count, that's five out of six. Otherwise, we can just head straight down. Now, the chain... Um, for me, was on more towards the right-hand side, so um, I was getting a bit panicky, like, holy crap, where is it? Uh, but it should be basically, more or less, directly underneath the Bioi. Go ahead, pop it up, and that'll get you the Salvage Hunter Achievement. Bioioing!
beautiful, it's beautiful. The rare, cheap, and sound is beautiful. Right then, so what we're going to do then, we're just going to keep now heading forward again until we hit a big patch of ice, and that will force us to do some submarining once again. Uh, so again, obviously, like I say, you know, just uh, make sure that everything's topped up. Your hooks and all the scrap, and you've got plenty of scrap pieces. Um, you can chuck your sails up now if you want. Job done. So again, this is going to take another few minutes of sailoring. And, well, there it is. So we smashed into a big ice cube, so oh, there it is, and it's not letting us past. Even though we, we could probably just smash straight past it, we do have a big ship. But anyway, we are heading down, and what you need to do is basically continue to keep heading down, just for the time being. And eventually you're going to see um, another little ball clamper. Oh yeah, ball clamping our way through this game. There it is, just like catching your piaubes in a in the, in your jeans <laughs> or one of your, you know, skinny bits. <gasps> We're gonna have to do it again. So clamp it on, and again, of course, we will have be having to do another puzzle. So I'm going the wrong way. Try that again, douche nozzle. Thank you very much. That was I was calling myself a douche nozzle there. Sorry. Right. So once we are all clamped in and we are in extreme pain. Um, we can, <laughs> no, I'm joking, or wincing at the thought of it. We can now just head straight down. Lovely stuff. Right, again, so we'll push the button. We are going to, uh, after the water has gone away, we are going to pull the lever to the left, and it's going to break. Or to the right. Take it back now, y'all. So it's going to break. We're going to go all the way down again. We're not an ankle-snapping kind of guy. We are just super key. Um... So, head to the left. Little puzzle then, once again, that we're going to do. So, there are two boxes. What we need to do is push both those boxes all the way to the left-hand side. Uh, we're, ba we're effectively just trying to straighten things up, as it were. It looks like one of those, you know, one of those crooked pictures and, and like, people with, like, OCD and stuff are like, that's got to be straight before I lose my head. Or to, to be honest, I think that's anyone, really, isn't it? So, push all the boxes all the way to the left, anyway. With the lever pointed to the right to get the water... We are putting it in the first box, as you can see. Now, once that is nice and full, and it's just starting to creep over to the um, straightened, straightened out territory, what you need to do is then push the put the hose into the second hose. So this isn't going to work, as you'll be able to see, because it's not going to grab anything. So uh, I can, yeah, I can push the buttons as many times as I want, but what we need to do is put that hose. Then into the second box. And that will even straight straighten things out more. There we go. So pop it into the second box, the right-hand side box. That'll start straightening it out more. Then push the button a couple of times. And then afterwards, there you go, third time for me, it decided to work. So again, you're basically put pushing the two boxes over to the left-hand side, filling them both up with water, and then pushing the boxes. 
So, once the big middle thing starts going nuts, we're going to grab this right-hand side box and we're going to pull it all the way to the right-hand side. Now, note the repair toolbox as well. Make sure to be grabbing that on the way out again. Of course, they always come in handy. The more, the more, the merrier. So just push that to the right, just so we've got enough to jump out. And then some sad scenes gonna happen, bro. Sad scenes. No! My ship. The captain has not gone down with the ship. So, we don't have a lot of steering to do, but we do have a lot of walking in ice-cold conditions to do. And if you're an absolute uh, loser in the cold, like the majority of British people are, because we do suck in the cold, don't we, Brits? You know, Canadians laughing in freezing temperatures constantly uh, <laughs> at us. Uh, so anyway, we're going to head uh, to the right. What you need to do then is, if we head to the right again, and just pull this box out of the way. Move that cat out of the way. There we go. We'll pop that, and then we can just move forward. Uh, remember to obviously keep the uh, repair toolbox for you. So we open up the door, and now what we're going to do is actually head um, just underneath. There we go. So, so we're heading underneath, and then we're going to use the uh, thingamabob here, the lever, to start nipping all the way up. Lovely. I tell you what, it's a lovely, lovely, scenic-looking game. This is just an unbelievably beautiful game, in all fairness. So what we're going to get then, as we start swimming up there, we will get the Northwest Passage achievement. Uh, I thought that was the, I thought that was Kim and Kanye's next kid, even though they're all divorced and stuff. So that joke doesn't really work anymore. Um, but anyway, this is literally just one big long walking section. Um, so to go faster, just keep, just keep jumping. Uh, keep yourself warm and keep yourself going faster. But again, this is going to last for quite a few minutes. So, uh, still nothing, <laughs> still really nothing of note going on. We're just going to climb up the ladder. And when we get to the top, have you frozen your nips off yet? Because this guy has. My nips are about one inch in diameter. Very small, which is weird. Uh, so open up the door anyway. Obviously, you're going to drop down. Start heading to the left and the floor will break. No. Uh, no. And you're thinking that we're coming to the end, but we're actually... Uh, well, we're getting close. We're about 20 minutes away. Uh, yeah, about 20 minutes away, I'd say, actually, from the end. No. 
Uh, so what we're going to do then is uh, grab the repair tool, of course. Eh, about 30 minutes. So drop down. Once you've got the repair tool, uh, drop down and we're going to grab this box. Again, we're going to pull this all the way over to the right so we can jump up and basically just repair the mast. So this is another windy section. So if you get caught in the wind, you're going to be blown all the way back. So if it's easier for you, uh, just make jumps for it. Um, I didn't because I was too paranoid. But what you're going to do then is just hide underneath this little crevice here or whatever it is until the wind dies down. As soon as you hear the wind basically s slow down and more or less stop, then jump and make a break for it again. And then same here, what you're going to do then is obviously just wait behind here as soon as the wind has died down and has basically dropped, jump and then make a break for it. And away we get now. Right then, so you think we're trapped in the ice blocks? Then tink again, man. So what we're going to do, we're going to climb up. Um, basically, just bring all the scrap with you. We need all the scrap anyway, so um, you can open the door. Uh, you can, we're about to see quite the somber scene, as it were. Uh, but just go ahead. We need all the scrap anyway, so just go ahead and pick them up. Just put them at the top, so it's a little bit easier for us later on. And sad news! That looks like death. Um, oh, well, definitely. Uh, hello? Would, would you like me to put the furnace on for you? You couldn't have frozen to death. Uh, you just couldn't have frozen to death. You must have starved to death, because, uh... Although, then again, if you've got no scrap, you can't use the fire. Oh, it's tricky, isn't it? So this is all we've got to do then. So as you can see, just above there, there's a big ice block, and it's starting to melt. So what we need to do is just put the furnace on. So just keep... Uh, keep Jumping on this pad, just keep grabbing the scraps. As soon as the scrap starts running out, uh, just go ahead and, um, uh, yeah, just keep topping the scrap up and keep the fire going until there is a big enough hole at the top in order for us to get through.
uh, tell you what, we're too good at this game, ain't we? Right, so jump up, jump to the left, and then we're going to jump to the right. Where are we at? Two hours and 41. Red, pretty hell, the time just went by, didn't it? Uh, we are going to be reunited, and it feels so good yeah. in a moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ow! That's the noise I was trying to go for there, the in-breath. But we are reunited with the love of our life, our ship. By the way, make sure you have just picked up that scrap. And we are going to have to repair some things. Got pretty damaged there. So uh, repair the engine, repair the um, scrappy button thing. That, for me, was going to get me the running a tight ship achievement. Successfully repairing key parts of a vessel ten times. If you don't get it by the end of the game... You can literally um, just load up chapter 3 and hit your hit the mast on the bridge and just go from there. Very easy though. Or you can just hit stuff on purpose between now and the end of the game. Uh, so go to the right here, jump out and grab the repair tool. Um, and we're basically be going to be coming up to the waterfall section. So we're getting now to the end of the game. We are getting there. So just make sure everything's repaired, everything is good to go. Otherwise we're going to start a fire. Um, obviously we needed to start going forward. So, start up a fire, that's going to melt the ice, and then get the mast and the sails going, and that is going to start us going, going, gone.
also two things here. Lastly, we are coming up to our. Firstly, we're coming up to our last bioyoy. So as soon as we push this, then we should get the obioi achievement. Also, underneath here is another chest. So if you missed one earlier and haven't got the salvage hunter achievement, stop here and there is another chest directly underneath. Um, I don't show it, but I will. I do tell you there is one right underneath. Also, this is the start of the section where we cannot hit any of the walls. Obviously, we're not going to do it now because, you know, we go for more speedrunning achievement. But the um, section starts just basically at the buoyoy, buoyoy. So right before then, that is where the section starts. So obviously I've already missed out because I've crashed into the wall here. Um, but you will just see how tight this is. And like I said, I've got a very, very helpful video uh, that I will show you at the end. Um, and you're just going to see how tight it is now. So there's nothing really more to say apart from this, uh, for this part, apart from obviously we're just uh, taking our time. Um, put the engine mode into first, you know, the sort of first gear and make it stop. We're just going to keep heading down. So we head down and we're just going to head to the right, but it is one of those that there's obviously a lot of rock formation. So you're going to be sort of going up and down. But again, do not worry about the achievement steady as you go for this part. Obviously, we will do that later on. Unless you're that fantastic and you get it done first time, I wouldn't worry about it.
And if somehow, with miraculous miraculicity, uh, you didn't touch that bit, by now, the achievement steadies you go will unlock. Um, so, it's quite a short path, but when you're trying your damnedest not to... You can't touch it. You cannot touch any of the rocks. And there's rocks up above, down below. Mr. Mo, yeah. So, we, that one is definitely a tricky one. But... Like I said, there is a helpful video later on. So, for now, what we could do, we're going to head down to the right-hand corner. What we're trying to do, what we're going to need to do, actually, is head out. So, um, uh, I'll put the submarine down. So, it's always worth just popping the submarine down. Uh, wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, Mr. Nozzledoosh. So, as soon as we can, we can now head out, and then we can grab the hook. Reunited in a barrel, and then just head to the right there. There is no treasure chest here, of course. Hopefully, you've got that salvage hunter achievement. We're going to grab this and we're going to go up, and that will pull the way out. And then we can basically get lifted in the air by balloons. Tidy boys. So, for whatever particular reason, then, this one doesn't uh, mind nothing to try and steer into. Uh, but once you have got that out of the way, and this big device is available, so we need to just basically place ourselves in there. So, go down very slowly, and then move forward very slowly, until all of our ship is underneath, or sort of on top of said device. Again, for whatever reason, I struggled with this one. Uh, because I am silly sausage. So, once you are all clamped in then, what you have to do is now basically get the fire going enough uh, in order to start up the energy boost. We're not actually going to energy boost, but just keep jumping on this pad. Make sure you've got enough scrap there. Just keep uh, jumping on the um, fire pad or whatever it's called until the automatic cutscene starts. Um, right after I actually place it in tidily. There it is. So, thank you for that one. Uh, but yeah, so from now, once you're all... Once you're clamped in place right there, and you can tell because things happen and it clamps us in place, makes sense. Uh, what you got to do, just keep jumping on this pad and it'll automatically take us up and we'll get the Aeronaut Achievement. That is incredibly poop pantingly scary for me. Not good with heights, am I not? I am not, no. Uh, you don't actually have to put the mast and stuff up yet because by the time this balloon thing drops us, um, the mast and stuff goes down anyway. So I'm literally just wasting my time and your time doing this. So I do apologize, okay? I'm so sorry.
Well, goddamn, you goddamn, the boy. All right, so get the sales going again. We've literally got about nine minutes left now of the main game, uh, which is always tidy. And then, of course, we've got a few mop-up achievements to grab. So for now, obviously, you you literally know the drill by now. You've been playing this for almost three hours, probably a bit longer. Uh, so, you know, get the fire going. Get the fire cracking going. Get the sails going. And just enjoy the last breath of scenery. And eventually, and pretty much finally, it's another crashing, smashing, bow-bashing time. Straight into the lighthouse we go. Now, we might as well just climb up top there, get ready for it. Kabalalalalalalamo! There it is. Righto, so, uh, what we're going to do, you can pop the mask down if you ever so wish. Uh, whether it makes too much of a difference, I don't think so. But, you know, it looks nice, doesn't it? Looks nice. Right, so what we're going to do now is climb up. Uh, this is literally, basically, pretty much, the, this is the last puzzle that we've got to do with the last section. So grab the box on your way up the ladder, and we're going to put it uh, just in this little doohickey machine right here. So stick it in the doohickey. Uh, you what, me? And then climb up the ladder, and then grab the next box. And we're going to stick two boxes inside the stew ticky. Oh, look at that skill. Grab the ladder with incredible ease. Right, push the button anyway when the two boxes are on, and that will get the first light going. Oh, it'll move the light up slightly. Uh, jump up. Jump up and get down. Push this button here. And once you have pushed the button and it starts moving up, you can jump to the ladder on the left and head up the ladder once again, and then just pull the uh, lever over to the right for another short and wonderful scene.
Now what's that done then is uh, switch the camera around, we're going to push the button and that is going to get us the uh, familiar sound achievement. And now, now for, <laughs> for some annoying reason, um, as I jumped down straight away the first time and got on the ship, but the ship got stuck underneath this part, which was really annoying, so I had to reload the section. So just uh, stay up where I am here on the sort of top left hand corner. Just wait until the ship uh, basically comes through. It got stuck there uh, for whatever reason, so that annoyed me. So as soon as it starts popping through, we're going to jump down. What we're going to do then is get the running on fumes achievement. So now we're going to get rid of all the scrap on board. Um, all, and also it's obviously switched the camera around, so this can be a little bit even more confusing. So again, what you can do is you can pop the mast and sail up if you want. It's going to take a couple of minutes basically now to get to the end of the game where there is going to be a scene. Um, now, of course, like I said, for the speedrun achievement, we've done all that. Plus, I made quite a few more mistakes. And we are still, I still at the moment have 25 minutes left. So hopefully, if you've been following along, pausing um, and just reloading checkpoints if you messed up, then hopefully you will be on at so basically the same point as me. Uh, if not, there are quite a few good guides on you, obviously on YouTube and everything. Um, just showing you how to get the walkthrough, uh, the second playthrough done for just the specific speedrun. So now what we're going to do then, we are basically just going to use up all the scraps. So we've got the fire going, of course, and just keep it, you know, it literally doesn't matter at this point. Again, if you don't want to get the running on fumes achievement yet, you can literally just grab it well, later on, um, but that's fine. So make sure to grab everything out of the plant room, should we call it, the stowaway room. So I hung up three items, of course. So once that one is done, then we are going. Then I'm just going to go ahead and um, use all the scraps, and there should only be three left. Um, obviously, it depends on how much you've done or how well you've done. You may not have that many left. But all we're doing, wherever there are some, if there's some on the floor lying about somewhere, go ahead and get rid of it. Um, otherwise, once everything on board has completely gone, now the achievement should unlock. But for some reason, oh, my Xbox decided these next couple of achievements didn't want to unlock. So the beautifulness of the speed ring, the speed ring achievement, you won't be able to see on screen because my internet is terrible, terribly annoying. Um, otherwise, for now, like I said, providing you've got got just got rid of uh, every bit of scrap on board. Uh, the running on fumes achievement should unlock, and then we can now just wait and chill out and relax until we get to the end, which is coming up quite soon. Well, man, would you look at that? It's Lone. Hi, Lone. My name is Toe. If you were called Nail, that would have been hilarious. Um, or Ring or something. Anyway, right now, you should have got two achievements. Arrival and at a rate of knots. The arrival is uh, obviously story related. The uh, at a rate of knots is, of course, the speed run achievement. So I managed to get it with 23 minutes to spare. Probably, and that's just edited it down. So I probably uh, shaved out, I probably... Added a couple of minutes as well uh, by my messing about. Uh, so hopefully you would have got those two achievements. Um, again, like I said, if not, there is YouTube uh, videos uh, dedicated specifically to just the speedrun without the messing about and grabbing other achievements that we've obviously done. Otherwise, hopefully you've got both of those achievements and now we can just crack on with a few missable ones.
so then, that was the story, the excellent story of Far Changing Tides. Very, very enjoyable. Um, but now, let us crack on with a couple of achievements. So, head into load, and then what we're going to do is actually, we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to get the Going Green achievement. So, we're going to go all the way down to chapter 15. It'll say in the top right-hand corner. Sorry, I went a little bit quick there, but it'll say in the top right-hand corner underneath the date uh, where to get it. So, uh, you should now have the plant, providing you are grabbing the plant anyway in the majority. All you got to do is put the plant into the furnace right there. Oh, furnace is called. I've only just realized that. I was calling it the scrappy container thing. Anyway, that'll get you the Going Green achievement anyway. So now what we're going to do is get, um, more or less, we're just going to stay in the same spot. So we're going to load up chapter 30, or checkpoint 30, sorry. So what we're going to do now is get the full steam ahead, the fuel guzzler and the submarino ones. Now, the fuel guzzler is for burning 100 fuels, which again, you can just very easily do. The uh, full steam ahead is for using, um, using the energy boost for 1,000 ums. And, of course, we've got the submarine there for um, travelling underwater as a submarine for 10,000 mms. Now, I'm obviously not going to show you the entirety of it. But what we are going to do, then, is go for the full Steam Ahead achievement first. So, hopefully, you sort of uh, remember what to do by now. And, hopefully, when you were at this point of the game, you should have had, a, at least, as you can see, quite a lot of scrap on board. So, just keep put using the pad until the blue line goes all the way to the right-hand side. Uh, just keep the scraps going as well. And of course, keep an eye on the engine temperature. As soon as it starts flashing orange, that is when I will grab the hose. And obviously push the lever all the way to the right. Ah, oh, crap! Get the bloody thing, man! Oh, look now, man! I ruined it! Anyway, so that's all you're going to do. So, for me, personally, this one only took about four or five minutes before it unlocked. So this one shouldn't be too long. Uh, but just So just keep doing this then until the full Steam Ahead achievement unlocks. Basically, these next three achievements we can do just in this section alone because it's very slow and there is a lot of um, water, submerged water that we can just uh, take our time with and go nuts with. So just keep doing this then until the full Steam Ahead achievement unlocks first of all. So, once that is done then, now, what I highly advise doing, don't do what I do here and load up checkpoint 30 again. Now, you can if you want, but what I highly advise doing is just keep going there until all the scrap unlocks. So, we're going to unlock the fuel guzzler achievement uh, yet uh, next, and that is for just putting 100 scrap into the furnace, into the uh, scrappy container -y thing. Um, so, yeah, so what I advise is just keep going with that, keep doing the energy boosts, Keep using up all the scrap until there is none left, and then reload the checkpoint. Um, and then, of course, I think if you have a look, you can have a look at your stats. So press the start button, the three line of boy. Go down to stats, and it'll tell you how uh, how long that you've taken to go underwater with the vessel and stuff. Um, and then you could just go from there. Um, but what I'm doing, I apparently I'm just doing the fuel guzzler, getting it all out of the way. So it doesn't matter if you burn it off, just as long as you put it in the furnace. So, again, either way you want to do it, you've got to travel underwater anyway, so you may as well just keep doing that with the energy boost and stuff. Or you can obviously get the fuel guzzler achievement out of the way and then do that one after. And I'll tell you the only reason I've done it this way is because I thought I'd already locked, unlocked the submariner achievement before I realized it was the wrong one. So that's why I've done it this way, because I am a stupid sausage roll. Ugh, sausage rolls. They may be sick now that Lad Baby keeps singing about them. Tory scumbags. <laughs> oh. 
Right then, so once that one is done then, so we should only now have three more achievements left. The Submariner, Steady as you go, and Changed Tides. Changed Tides is just for unlocking all the achievements. So, for the last one, as you can see down the stats, Travelled Underwater with Ship, 8,712, so it depends what you are. We're literally just going to be travelling underwater now. Um, and again, you, you obviously load up uh, Checkpoint 30 to get your all your scrap back, but of course you've got enough scrap now, so using energy boosts depends where you are. This shouldn't take too long at all. So do you keep using energy boost and water until the Submariner achievement unlocks? Now then, what I'm going to do after this achievement has unlocked and all we've got to do is steady as you go, I'm going to give a big massive shout out to NASA Warzone here because this is his video and he just comes out, basically his advice is absolutely, it's, it's just brilliant. So I found out that his advice would be better than me trying to speak to you all the way through it. So I'm going to leave it here then guys and gals. So you need to load up uh, chapter 51 and then just watch the video. But thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped, of course. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share it with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon and everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. Really, really appreciate it. So again, thank you so, so much for watching. We're going to load up uh, chapter 51. Again, a big shout out to NASA Warzone. And again, the, the reason I put this in is, is because it helped me invaluably. So I'm hoping that it helps you out as well. It's a lot easier than if I was just a yammer and talk all the way through it. This is where it starts. So just watch the video. Um, and again, I hope he doesn't mind that I've put the video in my video to help you guys out. I really hope he uh, doesn't mind that one. Um, but there we go. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. But, 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 big love.